This next celebrity made rock history as one of the most talented singer-songwriters of all time, but he also made history as one of the first major celebrities to lose his life from a disease that has become a global pandemic. Farouk Bolsara was born on September 5th, 1946, in Zanzibar, East Africa. His family moved to India and later to England, where this music legend would change his name. The world soon took notice when the rock group Queen skyrocketed to fame, along with its flamboyant lead singer, Freddie Mercury. In 1987, the singer was reportedly diagnosed with HIV. But he didn't publicly disclose it until several years later on his deathbed. 24 hours after revealing his HIV status in a press statement, he was dead at the young age of 45. And we're back with Dr. Jorge Rodriguez. He was one of the founders of the American Academy of HIV Medicine. And, you know, you think back to that period of time. Mm -hmm. uh, we've, we've come a long way. Oh, yeah, we've come a long way. I remember in those days, um, I mean, in my practice, we were losing five or six patients who were dying a week. It was incredible. So on those days, if you got diagnosed with HIV, you probably had a couple of years to live. Nowadays, if you're diagnosed, let's say you're in your 20s, with current medications, if you take them, it's expected that you'll live 50-something years above that. But still, we have a million people in this country that are infected with HIV. And what's surprising, one of the leading groups, or probably the leading group getting infected with HIV, is primarily black women you know, in the South, Southeastern United States, under the age of 40, 45. So we still have a lot of work to do. And it is absolutely appropriate if you are in a relationship with someone and you are taking your relationship to that next place. You're either you're getting married or you're deciding that you are going to have sex for the first time. It is okay to say, you know what, we're gonna both get tested because there's a lot of this, I think, number one, fear out there to have the discussion, but also the assumption you know what, we've been together for a year now, and the truth is, the symptoms of HIV, oftentimes, until it's become further along, are, are none. Exactly. You can get some flu like it's <laughs> passed on, because people don't know, because most STDs, you don't have any symptoms. Correct. This is a slow virus. It takes 20 years from the time that you acquire it to the time your immune system is so debilitated that you start having symptoms. So you could be a carrier of HIV for decades without any symptoms. Sure, everybody thinks of the classic symptoms, weight loss, pneumonias, fevers, chronic diarrhea. Well, like you said, those are symptoms of the common you know, cold or flu. And those are symptoms of end stage you know, HIV. Freddie Mercury died from a pneumonia that you know, took him over because he didn't have an adequate immune system. So when it comes to prevention, get tested, know your partner status, you know, now there's these home testing kits, and it's approved by the FDA. Obviously, the concern there could be false positives, false negatives, but we're moving in the right direction. I, I it's better than nothing. I was going to say that. Because so it's many people won't get tested because they don't want anybody to know or right. fear of other people knowing. Right. The FDA just actually just approved that home test a while back. I don't know if it's on the market yet, but it soon will be. So you can test in the privacy of your own home. And last but not least, I just want to beseech people, respect your partner's wishes. There are a lot of people out there who are choosing not to have sex because, of course, you're preventing unwanted pregnancies, preventing the spread of HIV and other STDs. And we just have to beseech people to respect everyone's wishes and, and not put pressure on someone. Because I do think sometimes that's the other thing is it's, you know, we live in a society that's fast and you're watching all these TV shows and it's sex, sex, sex all the time. Right. And you know what? Sex can lead to some very bad things, so. And, and then there's always, 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 always time for a condom. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do I get some of that, then? You do. Dr. Rodriguez, thank you very much. You're welcome.